Now, X, anything left before I destroy you? Yeah, Renegade Fox is narrating a battle. Wait, what? He said Renegade Fox is narrating a battle. What? Alright, I've only had 5 hours or so worth of sleep and because of that, along with the fact that I have a lot to say in this doubles battle I have with Renegade Fox, this video is going to be sped up times 2 instead of the usual times 4 because, um, yeah, I kind of already told you why. And this one's quite a doozy, I haven't had a doubles battle in quite a while and I generally do suck with them but, you know what, they're fun, I walked away this match smiling like an idiot so I guess it's worth it. Which means I probably get swept or something, but you shall see. And this is too slow! And when the battle starts, I'll probably complaining, this is too fast! Anyway, I'll cause my hunter type RZ and my Joker, and because I rush save these guys since I kinda lost my save file slash whatever, you know, the usual stuff that you don't care about. These guys are messed up. First, my Joker doesn't have teeter dance like it should have, and second, it's faster than my Hunter Type RZ by 2 speed points, which I really shouldn't make it, but... You know what, I'm just gonna go for the fake out predicting the rain dance, since I do see the Ampharos and the Kingdra, and Kingdra in rain, and Ampharos in rain, they are kinda scary. Very scary, in fact. I could get 6 old if I'm not careful here, which is why I wanted to prevent him from setting up the rain and going for the tailwind myself, so hopefully I can take out that Kingdra while that stupid Ampharos just sits there and dances like a fool. Unfortunately though, my hypnosis is going to miss. Okay, this is officially getting too slow, but bear with me, I like dragging things out. I'm pretty sure towards the end of the battle I'll have a lot more to say, okay? Bear with me. And we shall watch the circle turn around and round and round because... Yeah... I do apologize. <laughs> this is bad! Anyway, I go for the hypnosis and I miss, which is just typical, but you know what, I only have 60 accuracy, I can't complain. So I go for the brave bird, and it actually does surprisingly a lot, but it doesn't kill, which is quite disappointing, and he is going to rest off the damage for some reason. First, I wasn't really expecting the rest, because, I mean, Rich Kingdra actually carries rest, and for why? It's not a Manafi or a 5th gen uh, Vaporeon or something. It, it just came off as a random move for me, okay? So that stupid Ampharos is going to light screen, I believe. And he's gonna switch. <laughs> This is the slowest narration I've ever done. So he switches out to this Swamper, which I'm assuming is a physical war. I mean, why the hell would he want to switch that in otherwise, take it, unless he doesn't have anything to take a Brave Bird. And I'm just gonna miss a second Hypnosis, which is just nice, very nice. So that means he gets off a Heal Bell, which means his stupid Kingdra would be like awake and, you know, ready to kick my ass. And he said he threw six random guys he thought would work well together. I refuse to believe he threw that together on the spot. I mean, Kingdra and Ampharos, one has rest, one has Heal Bell. Sorry, I don't believe that as being random, okay? So he decides to be an idiot and goes for the Protect, while I thought I could 2 KO a, a Swampert with my Brave Bird, and seeing the damage that Brave Bird did, along with the fact that he doesn't have leftovers, I'm pretty sure he's offensive. Not that it matters, because he's gonna Thunderbolt me and kill me. Which does leave me in quite a bit of a hole right now, because he does have Light Screen now, and the rest of my guys are special, which isn't fun. And I have like... Two guys that are weak to electric, and uh, the other two probably won't appreciate Swamper. And uh, my Joker isn't taking out anything soon, especially with that light screen. So I'm really contemplating very hard on what to bring in right now. But in the end, I decide to bring in Tentacruel because one, I have the light screen, so I and a lot of special defense, so I probably won't fear that Thunderbolt too much. And second, I could probably scare that Swamper out with a Surf or something, or maybe a Mr. Mime Grass Knot. I don't know. I'm just being desperate, okay? So I'm just gonna set up my toxic spikes here because I, I don't really see too much of a threat unless that Swampert decides to Earthquake, but even if he does Earthquake, the Ampharos will get hit. Unless his Ampharos does carry Protect, which I doubt because he already has Heal Bell and um, Light Screen. It wouldn't really make too much sense to have Protect with Light Screen, so I'm just kinda hoping, just hanging on by the little faith, of that thread of faith that he doesn't have Protect on his stupid Ampharos, which he doesn't use, at least, which is 
which works out in my favor and he's gonna water for me and kill me. <sighs> I'm gonna say he sucks, but you know what? That's cliche and boring, so I'm just gonna say it vacuums. Anyway, I'll cast my Glaze Glow because I really want that Swampert gone now because if that Swampert doesn't disappear soon enough for me, my Tempter Crew will actually be very very threatened, you know. And now that the Ampharos is asleep, I'm not seeing too much of a threat coming from that thing. I'm just gonna go for the Blizzard as his last turn of Light Screen wears out. I just want as much damage on that Swampert as possible, but no, he is going to be a dick and not allow that. Although I wasn't really predicting the Protect since, well, his Ampharos is useless sleeping. So he's either gonna stay in, burn off a turn of sleep doing nothing, or switch out doing nothing, which means I do get free damage anyway. So like, it really didn't make too much sense to me why that Swampert wanted to Protect on that turn, seeing that, seeing that he doesn't get to do anything other than leftover stall, but you know what, I had to hit him for the leftovers to come into play anyway, so... He was just essentially scouting what my Glaceon have. I, I mean, come on, a Glaceon in doubles, what else is he gonna have other than Blizzard? So now that his light screen is down, I'm thinking I can hit the Ampharos for super duper uber hard damage with my base 130 special attack, base 120 power spec... Uh, power stab ice beam aka the strongest blizzard in the game and potentially kill off that swampert if my blizzard hits which it will miss because yeah it kind of screws over my v switching in because i was kind of banking on the fact that that swampert would die this turn and if he doesn't die and he uh, hits me with an earthquake or you know a surf or muddy water my dark trio would not appreciate that at all see i have a lot to say about this that, that, that this double battle, okay, I did not make a wrong decision in speeding this up by only times two. Now, I, another Blizzard will 2HKO, I mean OHKO both of them at this point, provided that it hits and provided that he doesn't have any stupid protective gimmicky running around. And I am quite desperate here since I'm already down 6-4, but then again this is doubles, it's kinda fast-paced, more fast-paced than singles. I go for the specs, yes, specs, earth power, but I get a crit. I don't really think it mattered, but you know what, it's an Ampharos, it's a beast, I, I'm scared of it. And now the score is even at 4-4 because Grace Glow is ace. That is Grace Glace line, but you know what, I'm just gonna recycle it for Glace Glow because I didn't plan anything beforehand. Anyway, out comes a Jolteon, which will get his quick feet to boost! Oh my god, I am so scared! A Jotion with quick feet! Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
eh, whatever, and I'm gonna go for the Earth Power, but you know what, everything on in doubles has to have Protect anyway, because that's a staple move. More staple than, I don't know, setting up taunts and, you know, you know, I don't even know, I don't even play doubles enough, don't ask me. So anyway, I'm gonna switch here, predicting the water move from the stupid Kingdra. I know it's not gonna prevent my demise, but you know what, if I'm gonna go down, I'm at least gonna go down swinging, okay? So, I'm gonna send out a Paddy Pepper as he eye shots me on his own, that... I'm sorry, that was just uncalled for. But anyway, he misses his Hydro Pound, he's just like, blah, whatever, I don't care about you, at least that stupid thing is not going to die. <laughs> that stupid thing doesn't die! Why does my life suck so much? Why do you hate me so? What have I done to you? So he's gonna eyeshot me and that's gonna unquestionably always kill my stupid V of death because it's meant to attack, it's not meant to take hits and well, he's gonna die to poison so I'm gonna focus my attention on that King Drow at least the next turn because I'm gonna go for the IC, no, uh, not IC win, the Tailwind here because that's kinda what my team revolves around and then he's gonna Draco Meteor me, it doesn't kill, I was like, whoa, Pelipper survives, Pelipper the Pokemon no one gives a shit about, survives a freaking step Draco Meteor from a, oh, uh, 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 Uber Kingdra, let's just say it's Uber because yeah, it's Uber, overhyping. Anyway, I'll cast that stupid Jolteon and you shall see something you never saw before. A Pelipper taking down a Jolteon and then getting Draco me and then Ice Beam dead by a freaking King Draw. An imitation Ice Beam I might add, one that doesn't have freaking base 130 special attack behind it, nor stab. But you know what, it's gonna kill me anyway. So that's a good game Renegade Fox, I got owned kinda too old but you know what, I walked away from this match with a big ass grin on my face and you know what, that makes it worth it. So this very enjoyable Renegade Fox and I should probably tell you why I did doubles, it's because well the first time we battled it was on my rules, I wanted to do singles and you, now he said he wanted to do a doubles match and I was like oh shit but you know what, well I will entertain him. So yeah, accepting double challenges and you know what, I forgot to sp cut the video so yeah, here's me saving the game and standing there, not doing anything. You know what, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop rambling, bye. Oh my god, oh my god, X Square, he's fucking narrating a battle! <clears throat> what? Renegade Fox is narrating a battle? That's right, Zero! Renegade Fox is narrating a battle!